Shares of Haynes Brands popping on earnings, one of the biggest gainers on the S&P yesterday after reporting strong growth for the quarter. Uh, joining us to discuss the quarter, Haynes Brands CEO Steve Bradsby. Steve, welcome. Good to have you. Thanks, Carl. Pleasure to be here. Uh, revenue ahead, opera net ahead, you guide above for at least Q3, although it seems like you think the second half is going to be pretty strong. One thing I, I really didn't see much of was any discussion of supply chain disruptions or increasing freight costs. Can you just paint that picture for us? Sure, happy to. Really pleased with the quarter and the ability to raise guide, uh, guide for the back half. You know, the team around the globe is just in such a wonderful job operating in these really, really challenging uh, environment that we have right now and delivering results that we couldn't be more proud of. So a thank you to them to start. In terms of supply chain, you know, we're facing disruptions and challenges like other people, but this is a time where owning your own supply chain we think is a real advantage. And we own a vast majority of our manufacturing around the, around the world. It allows two big things, which is visibility and flexibility. And this is the time where Leaning into those things, being able to adapt, adjust on the fly is something that we think is incredibly important. And we think we're well positioned for the back half. Obviously, we're able to take the guide up and we think we'll be able to meet the, the rising consumer demand that we're seeing for our brand. So definitely there's challenges out there, there's disruption, but we have a really experienced team that's working incredibly hard right now, making the adjustments, the adaption that they need to do so that we can serve the consumer demand that we're facing. Uh, given all that backdrop of demand and some of the cost pressures that everybody's facing, can you, what are you taking out in pricing in terms of, uh, say, just U.S.? Sure. You know, pricing is certainly a tool in our arsenal that we think about. Obviously, we're trying to offset as much cost as we possibly can through the work that our supply chain team is doing. You know, if you think about our business, it's really two separate businesses. We have our activewear champion business, which is a seasonal business, and you know, we're in the process of selling in spring, summer right now and are really pleased with the response that we're getting from the retail trade. And we're able to work some pricing into that as a seasonal business. In terms of the other part of our business, our underwear, much more of a replenishable business. We're working on that with, with our retail partners, finding the right opportunities on their cadence of how they uh, set, new, set their modulars in stores and how they plan to, to go to market. So we work with them on that calendar and how we do that. But we're also very conscious of price gaps on the shelf. And Haynes in particular, incredible value brand that we talk about. Great quality, great innovation. But the value that we deliver for our customers is incredibly important. So we're going to manage pricing very carefully and try to offset the inflation that we're facing at the same time. Steve, it's Morgan. When I see activewear, bras and shapewear, all up triple digits. I mean, that speaks to me. The fact that people are buying more of these products to go out of the house and, and uh, amid the reopenings that we're seeing. So how sustainable are these rates of growth, actually? Sure, Morgan. Thanks. Um, well, I want to tell you is we definitely see growth continuing. There's no doubt about that. But we actually are overlapping the, the shutdown from last year. So I don't think you're going to see these huge percentages going forward. Things will moderate over time as we get to more normal overlaps. But I think the momentum that we're seeing in activewear, the momentum we're seeing behind the brands, I think is going to continue over time. One of the things that we're doing as a company is investing in our brands in a way that we haven't in the past. I would tell you that historically, I think the great, great brands that we have, whether it's Champion, Bally, Haynes, Made and Form, have been underinvested in. And a key part of our strategic plan going forward that we call full potential is to invest in these brands and continue to meet consumer demand. So you're going to see innovation from us. You're going to see advertising from us at levels you haven't seen in the past to keep that momentum going that's behind our brands today. United, the latest company to mandate vaccines. How are you approaching it? Sure. Obviously, we're watching the situation very closely. And, you know, we've got a great team around the globe that's been going to work every single day in our manufacturing facilities, our distribution facilities and doing an incredible job. We're not back in our offices right now yet fully. We're watching it very closely. Um, vaccines is something that we're encouraging all of our people to do. I think it's really, really important. And, you know, we're figuring out how to manage that as we go forward. But no commitment on how we're going to handle it yet. 